All right, how's everybody doing? I'd like to thank y'all for joining me. My name is Crypto Corey. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Uh, again, nothing I say is financial advice. And if you could, I would like for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and uh, click the bell notification if you'd like to get more updates. Um, real quick, we're just gonna talk Bitcoin for one second, just because I think it's relative to Akomi. Um, so. As you see, I drew a triangle for um, those who don't know, this is an uptrend of higher lows, and this is a downtrend of lower highs. And then the two meet, and then you basically force a breakout. So as you can see here, the breakout came to the downside, and then now you found support right here around around $58,000, um, which makes sense, because if you look over here, you've got your you got a little area of support that built up right here. So that's all it took. Just a little bit of that support right there has projected Bitcoin to go back up. Uh, will it have another downtrop? I don't know. Um, but if it does go up and to continue up here and then make all time highs, like let's just draw a quick scenario. Let's say it comes here and then comes up and then comes here. Once it does that, then uh, you will see altcoins follow suit. So what you're really here for is the OMI token, and I'm gonna show you um, what all is actually going on with OMI right this moment. Um, right here, we are on the four hour chart, and we're just gonna zoom out real quick. We're gonna go on the four hour chart, and we're gonna let you just see. So this is a Komi over the course of, so that is March. So this is at the beginning of the bull run. And you had your uptick here and we got to all time highs somewhere around one cent. And then we had our decline where a lot of people are upset uh, that they missed out. Um, I have not invested in a Komi yet. I'm seeing this down, this, uh, this area right here heading down. And I think it's almost time for me to buy in. Um, I think they're gonna have their biggest pumps uh, next year when the bear market begins, which I know sounds strange. It's in, like I said, it's not financial advice, it's just theory. Um, but let's just go in and oh, let's delete that. Get this back in. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna actually draw some triangles here. We're just gonna just see what's actually going on here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start from here and we'll work our way over. As you see, you get a little bit of area right here and we'll continue this down. So let's say about right there. And then we'll do another one where we'll start right here. Yeah, and we'll say that's about what we're probably seeing. Okay, so what we've got is we've got this down channel um, happening, which I, I hate I hate to say it. When I look at technicals like this, um, what I typically see is we've got um, more down. So I think we're going to make another down, and then we're going to make it back up. And then I don't know what we'll have to see by that time is if, um, let's say, we've got support right through here. So let's say we've got that as our potential future, what we could potentially see um, instead of heading down further in the channel, if we wanna look here, and watch, I'll show you where we've got good support. We've got good support sitting right around, yeah, right around there. So yeah, you can see we've got support showing up, and we'll, one thing we can do is, we can just kinda of show this, where we've got right here our support line and then you see we bounced off right around that support line on this triangle, and then we headed back up, and you see that we were rejected. We got rejected and we are heading back down, or at least we have the current appearance of it potentially heading back down, um, but I'll show you what it's looking like. We might have a little down trot, and then as you can see right here, you see this little, this little small piece. We can have a little tiny you know, uptick, and then another down. And then right here, this is where I think this is where I'm waiting for. This is where a Comey is appealing to me for a buy. Now, Disney just made its announcement that they have teamed up with a Comey, but um, I'm honestly waiting for this area right here, this zone right here. So obviously we've reached it before. I didn't buy. We had it again another time. So we've reached this zone 
um, two times since we've had this price correction and I have yet to actually purchase in because what I'm actually waiting for is I'm waiting for this right here. I'm waiting for this little spot right here to make a head and shoulders pattern right here. It's a small head and shoulders, but it would be a head and shoulders pattern and it would be a higher low and then that should help provide us the breakout to, you know, keep on going. Um, now, I'm not positive this is going to happen just because, you know, we've got, it's alt season, it's, um, it's Bitcoins having its pump. I do not think Akomi is um, going to have its biggest pumps when Bitcoin's having its pump. People are going to be too intertwined with Bitcoin. Oh, here we're going to throw me up real quick. Um, when we're looking at things like this, what you have to just understand is that this late in a bull market, it all bets are off. Like we can we can look at the TA and I can tell you what it looks like is about to happen. But at the end of the day, um, institutions could just decide to pump or dump something. And as you can see, we've had a pump. Uh, I don't think the pump started on the Disney announcement unless it was some form of insider trading. And then our pump, if that's the case, and you'll see um, huge upticks. But if, if institutions um, are any good indicator, right now they're accumulating. So right now they're holding this price um, just shy of that 60 or uh, that 0 0.006 cent mark and uh, I do think that we are a buy around 0 0.0055 um, but I, what I'd like to see first before I want to put my money into the OMI token is I would like to see that cup form um, here I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean when I, I want a cup and handle formation or you know uh, a head and shoulders pattern um, is fine with me so what I want to see is, here, let's see if I can dive in. So what I want to see is, um, I'm going to pull this over. I would like to see when this goes down and it goes up, you know, like it goes basically like that. So what you got is this is this cup right here that would be forming. So this cup would form and it would form a handle. So that would be a cup and handle formation and that would bring it up and it would skyrocket and we would have happy days. Um, the likelihood of that is a little bit rare at the moment it looks like because what we're probably going to have is this right here. You know, this will happen. Um, that's most likely. That's what I'm thinking is going to end up happening. Um, and that's that's what people would think is bullish. Like you see that, and it's it's a big hard pump. Um, I'm not in favor of that. I want a little bit longer of a consolidation to that cup. I want I want to see it go down. I want to see it come up, and I want to see it reach back over here uh, by December. That's what I'd like. That's what I want. I do think that we are going to see all-time highs again around the middle of November, um, but I'd like to see all-time high in the beginning of December. It would be a healthier, um, healthier um, thing for the bull market, and whenever the bear market does happen and people are taking all their money out of Bitcoin, out of Solana, and they're putting it into stablecoin. They're also going to be looking for NFTs, NFT gaming, and the metaverses that'll be forming. I do believe the bear market, metaverses, NFTs, and gaming are going to revolutionize the space for about a year to two. And then you'll see the eventual rise of the rest of the coins, the Bitcoin and the other altcoins. Um, <laughs> You know, I guess that's all I've kind of got. I know I could talk about the Star Wars thing, and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. But, you know, that's what everyone's worried about. Is they're worried about the Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars NFTs. Well, I've got something to kind of just let you know. We are going to saturate the market with NFTs. Saturate. We are throwing so many NFTs out there. We are getting drops 
every few days just on the VV app alone. So what I want you to just keep in mind, and this is something that I'm trying to keep in mind too, is I am trying to collect and trying to get my collector score up so that way I can, I don't know how the master collector program is going to work. I don't know how much I need to invest to be in it, but I do, I would like to be in that because I believe there are going to be some perks inside of the metaverse that we would actually want. The VVverse, I think, is what you really are going to want a Komi for and they've they've talked about these NFTs more like their their gift shop purchases. So I think that what we're seeing right now are good NFTs, they're high quality, great licensed NFTs from places like DC and Marvel and Disney and Star Wars and you know I, I'm looking forward to it. I would love to see a Millennium Falcon. I would rather have the Millennium Falcon flying around in the VV verse than you know, the Starship Enterprise, personally, personally. Um, I just believe, you know, it's, you know, it's hot and shit. Why not? Why would you not want that? Um, I guess that's all I've got for you today. Again, thank you for joining me. My name is Crypto Corey, and nothing I say is financial advice. And I'd like you to click the like and subscribe and click the bell notification to get more updates like this. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, and I will see you on the next one. Have a nice day.